Uh, welcome to this discussion. Um, we have this is a question three, part uh, B. The figure one shows a system of forces acting on a, a point on a body. The figure is on the whiteboard. Um, then they want us to use the method of resolution of vectors to determine Roman one magnitude magnitude of the resultant force and then Roman two uh, the direction of the resultant uh, force. <clears throat> Um, these are the forces acting on a body and um, how many are they? One, two, three, four. There are four forces acting in different direction. They want us to use the resolution of vectors to determine the resultant of, of force and also the, the direction of the resultant force. Now, for us to be able to To tackle this equation, we are going to resolve all these forces in x component and in y component. Now, um, <clears throat> so if this one is um, if this one is a triangle, if you want to get um, the sign of this angle the cosine of this angle then we apply what we are calling Sokator Sokator so uh, how do we express x in terms of the angle we use the cosine adjacent over hypotenuse so if this is hypotenuse so we can say that cos the cosine of that angle, cos theta is given by adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent is x, then hypotenuse is what? Is h. Meaning that x equals to h cos theta. And then the sine of this angle, we use Okatoa, opposite over hypotenuse. So that sign, theta equals to opposite, which is y, over hypotenuse, which is h. Therefore, y equals to h, sign, theta. Now, I'm just using this to demonstrate that when we resolve, when you resolve these um, forces in y component, then it will be given by the sign of the angle. When you resolve these forces in x component, it will be given by uh, the cosine of, of the angle. Okay. Now, to tackle this equation, we shall have description. Then x component. We have x component and y component. Now description, we start with that force, which is 100 Newton, the direction is that uh, that decrease. So when we resolve this force in x direction, it will be, it will be 100 cos, will be 100 cos that decrease. When you solve that force in the y component, it will be 100 sine that decrease. The next force, 150 direction is uh, from here up to here is uh, 120 degrees so here it will be 150 cos 120 degrees 
then y component it will be 150 sine 120 degrees and then the next force which is this one is 80 newton the angle is from here up to here is 180 plus 20 to be 200 degrees so here y co x component it will be 80 equals 200 and then y component it will be 80 sine 200 and then lastly we have uh, 200 newton the direction is this one is 45 so from here up to here it will be 315 so x component it will be 200 cos 315 y component 200 sine 315 so we now add all the forces in x component and we also add all the forces in y co component that is our calculator we have 100 times cos 30 then of course plus 150 cos 120 plus 80 cos 200 plus 200 cos 315 hmm. when we add here we have 70 77.85 newtons we can do the same with the y components 100 sine 30 plus 150 sine 120 plus 80 sine 200 plus 200 sine 315 Pardon, we have 100 sine 30 plus 150 sine 120 plus 80 sine 200 plus 200 sine 315 aha uh -huh. so the total here is 11.12 newtons now this is the force resolved in y component and this is the force resolved in x component now we sketch the diagram here. This is X. This is Y. Now this force is the positive side of X. So we shall assume that that is the force. 77.85 Newtons. This is the post positive part of Y. It means it goes up. Ah, so the resultant of the two force will be this. That is the resultant, we call it R. Then the direction of this resultant is that angle. Therefore, we use Pythagoras theorem to get the value of R. R squared equals to 77.85 squared 
plus 11.12 squared is equals to 77.85 squared plus 11.12 squared equals to 6.184 times 10 raised to 3. So R equals the square root of this is equals to square root of the answer is equals to 78.64 newton so that is the result that then how do we get now the the angle we get the turn of the angle tan theta the tangent is given by opposite over at adjacent opposite is now 11.12 at adjacent is 77.85 which equals to when we divide the 11.12 divided by 77 point uh, eight five this equals to uh, zero point um, zero point one four two eight uh -huh. so theta equals you get the inverse of the, the answer uh, the turn inverse of the answer uh -huh. so this equals to 8.13 degrees. So what we are saying is that uh, the magnitude of the force is 78.64 newtons and the direction is 0 is the is 8.13 degrees. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you for watching and listening.